Hi, uh, this is just a small demonstration to show how to use the new triggers functionality for multi-page. Um, I'm on Sixstream at the moment. Uh, you can see I've got a scheme called a multi-page test. I'm going to go to, into there, I'm going, I'm going into the questions editor. Um, and then obviously I've got some, uh, I've, got, I've got my scheme here. Uh, sorry, I've got my questions here, and my first one is a multi-page. Um, you'll now see that um, when you hover over uh, a multi-page question, um, and I've got a set of multi-pages, you will now see that um, there is also um, the ability to edit the questions inside a multi-page question. Uh, now, the reason for this is purely for the triggers. So when you click on that, the only thing you get is the triggers functionality. Um, I've purposely restricted anything else, um, although in the background it, it would in theory be possible to be able to change um, a question type within a multi-page. That is probably something for the next phase I feel um, and um, it may provide a lot more uh, versatility with the multi-page section in general um, but that will be up for, to this, uh, excuse me, that'll be up for discussion of whether we um, we improve on that more. But anyway, yeah, okay. I've just clicked on. I've just clicked on edit to edit a question. Um, I'm going to close that down. I'm actually going to. Um, I'm actually going to go to the kilometer question that we've got here. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, click add, add a trigger. And what we've got here now is you'll see that when you select general questions, you now when you select all your questions, you will now see that along with an actual question, a normal quote question. There is also for any table or for any multi page that has got nested questions inside them, they will also have the nested question names. So um, from here, um, you can see that the, these two little dashes here try and, try and signify that these questions here are inside this particular question. Um, so for the purposes of this demonstration, I am going to choose one that is outside of these questions. I'm going to choose test text box which is on the extra page tab that we've got and I'm going to say um, my trigger right now is going to say if the te if that text box is equal to hide then I want to hide this question so basically what I'm saying is if that text box there has the word hide in it I am going to make the kilometer um, question that's inside a multi-page disappear so I'm going to save that I'm going to publish to get quote, and that's saved. And we're just you can see now that that particular question has got the red line around it, like a normal question would, to just to um, just so you know that that question has now been edited. Um, so we are going to go to an actual quote. Here we are. I'm going to go to the multi-page test, and now you can see here that we've got our quote. And I'm going to go to extra page. I'm going to put say that is as hide. I'm going to go here, and now you'll see that that is actually hidden. Um, if I take hide out, we'll see that that is actually hidden. Um, and that's it for now. Um, I'm going to probably going to do another video with a little bit more explanation. Um, but for the time being, I just wanted to put that in, um, just so, just to give you some explanation of how it currently works. Um, it's almost identical to the way triggers works normally. Um, so hopefully there shouldn't be any uh, real issues. I'm just going to go through that again. You'll see that it's closed. Oops, excuse me. If we take that out, you'll see that it's now back on. Um, we can do some.